What's up guys, this is The Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to round off happened last time, I pushed the Mughal Empire back across the river with this force here. They're going, now going to replenish and move north, start to combat some of these guys. Whereas this army is going to push eastwards across the river and push them out of my territory, then eventually attack Gujarat. Um, I have a force up here laying siege to Hindustan, um, which unlike my Bengal siege, they have walls, so the mortars are actually quite a big problem. Then I have this army here at Lahore that's refitting, ready to move out to either move south to track these regions and then move on to Udapur. And this army laid siege to Karnak. Arkot. Laid siege to Arkot. Um, quite a capable stack under Egon Nitkin with one of my original armies built um, with the 20th Regiment of Foot, 21st, 15th. 24th, so not one of my first, but I don't know, 2nd Regiment of Foot, 32nd Regiment of Foot, 17th. So I've got some real experienced troops here with a good selection of artillery. So they're going to knock down the walls of this of this uh, region and capture it. Then the Sack of Calcutta, um, which I caught on an absolute fluke, and I didn't mean to hit the end turn, I meant to bring up this button, but never mind. The Sack of Calcutta, which I attacked during a similar incident where I meant to click maintain siege because I was scared of all of the howitzers and I accidentally clicked assault so I fought to capture Bal Calcutta and I expected a bit of a bloodbath, a bit of a long siege, I mean, a bit of a careful siege um, but Calcutta had no walls so I was able to rush them completely with my army just storm right up to them right through the town centre and cause a mass rout effectively as soon as they got into contact and then it was a storming victory and I was really surprised but I put that down to me being slightly ill at the time of recording aha and the force that was a couple of episodes ago I defended Istanbul with I have reinforced and sent them westward and as you can see it sent the the Mughals fleeing in terror and that Mughal, no, the Ottomans in terror, sorry. And that Mughal fleet that laid, that's just um, blockaded Sri Lanka. Um, yeah, we pushed them off and they came back. The in this Good. Spices. Me yield, but more spices, more trade variety. That's what I'm looking for from India. Um, as, with, as with every ruler that's been here through time, throughout history, what I'm looking for from India is its loot. Oh, and this is an untapped river of potential. Enlightenment 92, 92 predicted. Plus 9 for education. Sure, I'm going to tax them a bit more, probably, than they wanted to be taxed. Tea and spices. Not good yield. But I'll take it. It's a good start. Well, firstly, before I do that, I will upgrade your port. Um, to upgrade, to get another 5 growth. Excellent. Lots of fast growth in Calcutta. And I want to replenish this army and send it down here uh, rapidly, as rapidly as they'll let me. They will let me because they because they love me. Look at that. Maybe this guy's next target will be Katak. Where it's a bit more of a concerted effort. Um, they have no city defences, but I'm going to maintain siege because I have suffered a bit of attrition. So I want them to suffer a bit of attrition too. Oh, and I am about to sneeze. Just one second. Sorry about that, it's pretty this. <laughs> um, radio. so new town emerges, which I cannot build in because I've done all my building already. I'll have to remember to come back here. Trait gained Vlad Madimov, genophobe. Well, he's out doing a nice little job sat here. He's not minding anyone's business. No one's going after him. Because that's, I suppose that's kind of like the, uh, the jammiest posting of the war. He's deployed abroad. So we probably get some sort of hazard pay. There's an army just on the next hill. And they've been there for literally about 10 years. Glaring at each other. No, public servant. Okay, do I have a better minister for India? Army treasury. Uh, I don't want you because you make people unhappy and want to want to rebel. 
Plus one navy. Uh, I think they technically might be better in India. Nope, suppose not. Aha, I have another proper Moscow army being recruited, but I have no money. Aha, perfect. So, we can now move out of Lahore. Reinforce the garrison. Now this army has a choice. Do they go southwest, start knocking around here, clearing out these gaps? I think they do, fundamentally. These guys are all moving into India. Good. So basically I need to clear up this gap. Um, I'd like one army to push onto Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad. A couple of armies to clear out the centre and capture Udaipur. So I've got like a, a nice line here. There may be the fourth army to jump onto here and capture Ujid. Ujain. Malwa. That's what I'm going to call it. Malwa. So I have a nice solid line built at the same time. I'm moving in from the south and from the east. So the Mughal Empire will be well and truly caught. Mercury thermometer, wicked. Oh, so he's in to start converting. Good to get rid of that religious unrest. And hopefully it's start to grow, to bump this up to uh, increase my uh, population growth. Good. So I think the first move is to attack this army here to push them out of my territory. Let's fight. In India, I need to take advantage of it and push to destroy their economic um, as much as I can. So they can get more money going to me and not them, fundamentally. Because India is an incredibly wealthy region, everyone. So I've got a strong tax base, but I'd like to get some more trade resources and more things I can sell. I think this is an early army too, isn't it? First foot guards. Yeah, this is early artillery. And as I have as I have the artillery advantage, as in I got all of it and the AI has none of it, I will utilize it. Bit of target blockage here, but if, but they'll my cannons will blast through it. So you're there, you're there. So holy moly! So I can pretty much make one entire flank be this. And I will need to manage these flanks to make sure I do curve them in as and when they're needed. These aren't even going to get to deploy. You go there. General sits back here in the middle. Okay, so let's spread out the line. Still then, it's not very efficient. Turns out this wide deployment might be a good idea after all. But firstly, I want to do this. Not that, whatever that was. Spread them out, get more muskets to bear. Because here comes a unit of cavalry. Unit of cavalry already starting trying to rush my lines. Hoping to try to catch some of my units on the uh, on the bounce. Deploy this colonial line into the line, into the attack, because this colonial militia is only militia at the end of the day. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. They're being picked off because they're trying to flee rather than fight. So is that some cavalry over on the flank? It sure is. Let's get you guys to fall into square. It's rather late, but you're not no not many cavalry is actually inside the square. Let's hop back to the other side. How are you getting on? 
I'd very much like to kill this unit of cavalry and spin you back to start firing on your comrades that are coming into coming into vi into um into view. Shoot the dervishes. Shoot Hindu musketeers. Excellent. Get you guys deployed back to line. Open fire on the other flank. Okay, let's throw these guys into the mix too. <laughs> Knocking down villages. Let's hop back. Should be losing a lot of cavalry here. So they've not managed to break the square. Well, they have actually twice. Okay, another cavalry charge? No, it's just the uh, just the general. Let's get my guns firing. Canister shot. Gone down from 120 down to 18, so they've done quite well not to break. There we go. Yeah, I see another unit of cavalry's charged my flank, so let's bring these guys in a more advantageous firing position. There you go. The the line battle has started, so let's spin you guys around. To be honest, let's spin you all around. Hit the dervishes before they get into combat. Come on. To be honest, let's redeploy these four to fight against this unit of line. Spin you round to the right, start firing. Now, yeah, the Sakers can't fire a canister, but you can. I don't have the cavalry to exploit a full route. Say that, I don't need one. So on this flank where the infantry are weak, go in. Can okay, artillery to focus far on the elephant? Let's take you guys. You guys there, you guys get back here somewhere. into the general's bodyguard for now. Hopefully match you up with these guys. It's probably not going to go well for those units, but say la vie. Hit 
that unit of dervishes. You keep chasing down that unit of dervishes. You have chased after completely the wrong target. Get the general's taken down. Damn right, you should be concerned the general died. Don't shoot at them, get stuck in. Going up on the remaining elephants. This unit of Hindu Musketeers, let's form up my line, get all my artillery back on form, firing into the blob. It's a bit bloody this route because I have done taken a lot more damage than I needed to but it helps keep things interesting a bit Yeah, let's get on into, com into combat firing positions. Everyone needs to reload. Oh, they've already reloaded. Fairly sure it's probably the end of it now. Nope. So let's speed up time a bit. There we go. Let's end it there. We pushed them back. That's what matters. Ready to do it. But I'm more than happy to accept a favourable exchange ratio in my favour. Which that was, roughly 4 to 1. Like I said, I lost a lot more men than I should have done, but. Can't win them all. Well, you can, but. <laughs> maybe not the way you want. Cool, I think. Let them do what they want to do. Cool. Research and attack. Two more turns to get my nice happy free the slaves bonus. Abolition of slavery, sorry. Um, which would be pretty nice. Particularly around Moscow and Georgia. And that's where we're really coming handy. Oh good. Oh no wait. They might be coming for me. Well I'll need to watch where they go. <laughs> Either way, it'll be temporary. The eye will capture it. 
I'll assemble a force within a handful of turns and then have captured it back. To be honest, I'm still quite surprised. I hope I'm allowed to get away with what I have done in Europe so far. I'm surprised that I suppose I've been allied with Poland for a while and Austria is being pushed against the back foot. They can't really afford to fight against me at the same time. Um, but Prussia will eventually get tired of me. But when they do... Ooh, that, that's not good. But yes, eventually they will get tired of me. And then they will start to... Ooh. Then they will start to um, actually capture my cities. Or try to, at least. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select... I know it hasn't been developed, that's why I want to do that. See, Spain and Prussia are still being blockaded, so I'm losing trade of so many goods. But let's boost some resource production. Enemy gentlemen. Let them maintain siege, let them maintain siege. Spend some money on these guys, although, yes, that will be enough. And then let's move them up. Maintain siege against you for now. And this army can move across. Annihilate this little chap. Ooh, frustrating. I think I'd rather do this. Then move down here and then attack them from here because then I'll push them back this way rather than pushing them west into my territory where they can cause trouble. Yep, so you're going to have a look in there. You can't look in there, but you're going to scoot on to here. Good, you've got another region that's going to develop. Where is this? There you are. Aha! Oh, I haven't got any money. Meant to go up here and invest in you. But I have no money. See, even these rearward areas now, this late in the game, are starting to contribute. You know, one and a half thousand each. Oh, yeah. It's got lots of... Oh, Persia, 11,000. They found oil. So what's Moscow pulling in these days? 18,000! 18,000! It's growing 103 gold a turn! Jesus! And it's even... Well, I suppose it's been lots of lots of people migrating to the colonies. But I've still not maxed out on my, manu on my uh, manufacturing goods in this region. Actually, I think it might only be... Two steam engine factories is what I can build. And you, steam and... Uh, Water power cloth mill and you. Two water power cloth mills. Oh god, I Moscow could make so much money with industry investment. Hoo wee. But let's move them up a bit. Good. Set them on a collision course for this army. Good, right, let's hit end turn. So they landed. They've landed in landed in Estonia, I believe. So they try to lay siege to me. Um, uh, it's well garrisoned, and then I'll just recruit some troops for my Moscow army, and then move them up to finish them off. So I'm sorry, Britain, but uh, your troops are just going to get slaughtered on the. Oh no, wait. Or are they going to attack? Courland. If they do, that'd work out quite well, because they take Courland, and then I would take it. So let's see. Let's see where they go with this. Let's not be too heavy-handed. It could be a nice easy way for me to claim up another tasty territory. Move my front line west. In quite a non-inflammatory, um, patient way. Good, the Mughals are scrambling trying to deal with my multi-pronged invasion. Ooh. So they are knocking them back. I doubt they've got enough for us to take Holland, though. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. 
Select the type of port to construct here. So let's recruit some. Port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port Good allows God. the construction of warships. So how much is that? Six regiments. So you need another regiment. One more. Oh, I'll get a regiment of you, guard grenadiers, because I think... Oh, no, you've already got two of those. Line infantry, Native American pikes, Cossacks, conscripts. Let's get one of you with your nice hats. Afghanistan. Right, okay, so I'm not going to forget. Iran, you need that building. This one up here, you need that building. Could upgrade the ports, but that's a very expensive upgrade that I don't necessarily need right now. Move them up west. Let's infiltrate him into Belgrade. So weapon upgrade, have I have I been checking my infrastructure as I move up? I have. Good. Okay, so let's upgrade them. No, not the mines yet. Monastery school to start converting. So I can tax you now. Yep, I am taxing you. So great some happiness buildings, not necessarily bothered about military, because I've got a reasonable enough selection as it is. Then again, howitzers are always nice. Just, just end that. Oh wow, that's not what I planned at all. But I'm fairly sure they're in here. That they are. Right, so... This stuck over just a load of mercenaries. Annihilate them. You will move up there, but it's not. I'm going to end the turn. I'm going to end the part. Sorry, fairly soon. So I may as well just do a little bit of other stuff before that happens. Yep. So you are going in there. You are going in there. Hello. Who would try and assassinate him? Oh, yes! One in ten chance! He did it! Blew him away. But yes, lots of fragment army army fragments floating around that can't really do anything to stop me. This could be tricky. They could move up to reinforce the garrison. But fair enough. So right now, within India, I have four cities under siege. That is lovely. Then what I'm going to do is move him up to here. And attack. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.